Hey guys, welcome to another Game Tech Super Sham video. And in this video, I'll be going over what I think is the best way to get Chrome OS on any Windows 8 device, but still keep your Windows 8 operating system on it. So the next step is to download Google Chrome, as you might have expected. Now you can use any browser for this, but go ahead and install your respective version. And once you've done this, go ahead and install it. It should be in the desktop work version. But what you're going to do is go and click on settings and click on launch Google Chrome in Windows 8 mode. This will get it into a Windows 8 mode, and then go ahead and select your particular user. And this is the mode that we're going to be working with in Google Chrome for today. Now, believe it or not, you have a completely working and fully functional Chrome OS installed on your computer right now. So, you can pretty much browse any website you want to. You have animations when you right-click. You also have your app launcher instead of the start menu, like on a Chromebook. You click any of these apps to go to that app. Um, now, you can also click on any of the taskbar or dock, whatever you want to call it, apps to be launched to those apps. So, overall, this is a very well executed Chrome OS system on your computer by Google. You can have it with different windows, you have special snap effects. And the reason Google Chrome is able to Google's able to do this in Google Chrome is because when you launch an app in Metro mode, it has different rights and privileges. So you can also minimize, but this isn't a perfect operating system. There's no way to accurately bring back a minimized window as you would be having in, in a Chromebook. And there's also a weird user problem, and you don't have all of your Chrome OS uh, settings, like you can't change the background, and you don't have, you know, your user profiles and stuff, but you can auto-hide your shelf, you can add apps to your shelf as well, you can also change the time and date from the uh, clock window, but you have to remember you're still in Windows, you still have, you might end up exiting the application on accident, and there still are some glitches like this I noticed, that when you re-click on Google Chrome after you've exited, it just shows a blank screen and you have to launch it from the quick launch bar. So overall, this is a great emulator, if you want to call it that, for Chrome OS um, in Windows 8. And you can get it for free, but it's definitely not perfect. There are some glitches that are in it, and some extra features that we did see on Chromebooks. But that's definitely coming up, and that's something I... The Apple Watch, or iWatch, as many like to call it, was just released a couple days ago at EFA 2014 in the Apple event, along with the iPhone 6. And in this video, I'm going to give my first impressions of it. So, overall, I was not impressed by this watch. 